every morning around this time, 740. You should set your alarm at home. We're going to be answering your coronavirus-related questions. Joining us again this morning, uh, as he has been all week, infectious diseases specialist, Dr. Isaac Bogosh. Uh, Dr. Bogosh, I also want to say I know that you've been extremely busy this week. You know, you're answering our questions as well as others from our network. So thank you for your time and just being oh. here and being available to us. It's very kind. Thank you so much for having me back on. All right. Well, let's start with one of these questions. Matt wants to know, do we know when this will end? And I ask you that knowing that you have been tracking this since it first cropped up in December in China, December 2019. We've been following into the new year. What patterns have you seen emerge? What's the best guess you can give us? Yeah, it's, just, it's extremely difficult to know when this will end. But I think we can take a solace in a few key points. One is that we look at people that are far, or countries that are farther ahead in the epidemic than we are, uh, China, Japan, Singapore, South Korea. Uh, they've been imposing these large sanctions and these large public health measures for about three months. They're starting to lift this slowly. So th we'll probably start to lift ours slowly if we see a, a good response in a, in a few months from now. But really, the definitive solution here is a vaccine. And that vaccine is probably a year away. Uh, sorry, <laughs> but that's, that's the real answer. That's the real and the best answer. All right, uh, this one is from Instagram. Can you get COVID from being in an elevator with somebody who has the virus? Uh, certainly, we know that uh, the virus can be transmitted through what we call droplet and through contact. Now, if someone coughs in the elevator, and uh, as disgusting as it may sound, but coughs like directly in your face, which is obviously gross, rude, and disgusting, uh, you can get it that way. The more likely way to get it is if uh, these droplets uh, uh, contaminate a surface. So, for example, the elevator, <coughs> excuse me, the elevator buttons. And if you touch the elevator buttons and then, you know, rub your eye, touch your mouth, touch your nose and, and contaminate yourself that way. So the, the, that's probably the more likely route. So really, hand hygiene is key. Uh, if you have only one symptom, this is another question that came to us at your morning. Do you need to self-isolate if you have only a cough, only shortness of breath, only a fever? Yeah, I think it's a good idea, especially in the context of now that we're seeing more and more of this infection in community settings around Canada. You know, if someone has a fever or a cough uh, and certainly uh, shortness of breath, we've got to be careful about that. Uh, it, it's worthwhile just to take the safe route to self-isolate and then to call your local public health number wherever you are. There is a local number to call. You can discuss this with a healthcare care professional and they can guide you through what the best course of action is, uh, which may include hanging out at home for 14 days. It might include uh, uh, facilitating diagnostic testing or, you know, depending on your conversation with that individual and depending on what your actual symptom is, it may include saying, you know what, you're probably OK. So it's just a great idea to discuss this with someone who's knowledgeable on that. And that's the local public health line. Dr. Bogosh, you always give us such great takeaways. My key one from today, sneezing, coughing out loud, gross, rude and disgusting. That's the doctor's <laughs> words for it. Have a great and a safe weekend. Thanks so much. Be well. All right, and a reminder to our viewers, we can't always get to them every day, but we are going to get to all of your questions. So you can send this to us on social media. You can tag us, and we will ask a doctor every day on your morning at 740 Eastern Time. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.